Hi guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. Today we're sharing tips with you men of how you can change up your look without having to buy an all new wardrobe. These simple changes can pull you out of a style rut or wearing the same thing day after day. Everybody can get used to pulling out the same pieces. For guys, that might be the same jeans and t-shirt and sneakers look. Or you might be that button-down and denim type of guy. Whatever your look is, we want you to intermix new pieces and change up the way that you're styling them to give you a whole fresh new look. So, for look one, which is common for men to wear, it's just a t-shirt, jeans, and sneakers. With a few simple tips, here's how you can change up that style. First, you wanna think about what type of t-shirt you're wearing. Choose a graphic t-shirt or a tee that fits your body well versus a bigger, bulkier one that may not give you any shape or form. With that t-shirt, you wanna tuck just the front portion of the t-shirt into the front of your denim. Then we're going to add some type of stylish belt that has an interesting buckle. And you wanna put that through your jean loops and just so you'll see where that t-shirt's tucked in the front and then your belt buckle with a slight trim of your belt. This gives it more of that modern flair. Then you can change your gym sneakers or your casual sneakers that you wear to run around town and instead choose some type of fashion sneaker. So think of something that might have leather or a suede sneaker, something that adds a bit more style to what you're wearing. The second outfit is what you can wear when you are typically wearing a button down shirt and a blazer and jeans, common outfit that lots of guys wear. So the first trick is always to make sure that your pieces are fitting your body appropriately. If your blazer or your suit jacket is too large in your shoulders or too loose in the sleeves, this is gonna add bulk to your frame. But once you have well-fitting pieces, here's how you can restyle them to step away from the expected. The first thing is that we wanna make sure that your shirts are not just a plain button-up shirt, but really something that has a bolder print style or color. That could be plaids, flannels, paisleys, whatever style you might like. And that'll stand out a little bit against the blazer. But here's what you can do. First thing is push up the sleeves of the blazer. Then you want to pull out the end or the cuffs of your buttoned up shirt. You want to re-push those up or cuff those, fold those over the end of the pushed up sleeve of your blazer. That kind of gives it a fresh new style. The other option or thing that you can do is also untucking your button down shirt. If it's a well-fitting piece, it should trim your body and give you a lean cut. So untucking it gives it kind of that cool, more modern look versus a tucked in style. The other option you can do is, if it's chillier out or you're not the type of guy to push up your sleeves, is to do the same trick, but just leave your sleeve length of your blazer long, and then pull the length of the cuffs of your button down shirt, pull that through, and then fold that over. Ideally, that cuff would have some kind of element of design or interest, but even if it's just a white button-on shirt with a navy sport coat or blazer, this still can look really trendy and modern and fresh. Then you can simply add any type of patterned or print sock with the shoes that you're wearing and your jeans. This kind of adds a bit of flair and gives you more of a head-to-toe style. The third outfit option is for when you might be wearing a sweater, a button-up shirt, and chinos. Very common to be worn, but these tricks will help you to give it a new look. So the first thing is that you want to ideally have on a print button-down shirt, something that has any type of texture or element of design on it. 
So by that thinking, keeping in mind that shirts that have small dots or small stitching don't show up when you're looking at someone across the room. So ideally going for something that's a little bit of a bolder and contrast against your sweater would be the best pick. But even if you have just a solid color button down, you wanna untuck that button down shirt and that should be a little bit higher at your hip line and then drape a little bit lower in the front. Then you wanna leave this untucked and pull your sweater over top, whether that be a V-neck, a crew neck, any type of sweater. Then you wanna pop the collar so that the collar of your button up shirt stays up and over the neckline of your sweater. This kind of gives it a little bit more of a less polished overall look that makes it a little bit more fashion forward and trendy for men. Then you wanna again take the sleeve of your button up shirt and then pull that out of the sweater. You can unbutton that to give it a little bit of flare. You can either fold that up at the cuffs over the sweater. Any way that you kind of stylize it so that you're really seeing more than the typical half inch to maybe an inch that men usually show from the ends of their sweater to their button down. You really wanna give it that whole overall nude look and feel. So what we would like to do is see how are you restylizing your current pieces? What are you doing to wear something in the new unexpected way? Try something different this week and then show us in social media using hashtag divine style or you can comment below and tell us how did you restylize kind of the same old outfit that you might wear from day to day, whether it be a t-shirt, jeans, and sneakers, your button-up shirt, blazer, and pants, or denim, or your last outfit option of a sweater, a button-up, and chinos. The other thing that I always love to do with people is to have gentlemen clients re kind of cut how they're wearing their chinos. And by cut, I mean how are you kind of putting that together? An easy thing to do is to cuff. If you're wearing some type of slim chino, then you can cuff the bottom, roll the cuffs up to make it more of an ankle length or just right above ankle length, and then show off your socks. This kind of gives it a more modern look and feel versus just wearing a straight leg pant that goes down to your ankles or down all the way to your shoes. So we look forward to hearing how you're stylizing these new looks, gentlemen. Don't forget to subscribe to Divine Style's YouTube channel to get all of our videos in your feed and make sure you keep up to date on what's happening in men's fashion. We're also gonna be showing you some client makeovers coming up and giving you a whole new look and feel for what you can wear. Check out our style freebies that are down in the box below. And you can download the Men's Ultimate Wardrobe Checklist, among others. We'll see you on the next segment.